Hello, and welcome to, back to Marathon. Now, I assume this is the engineering section. Uh, I'll just have a quick peek and take care of that guy really quick. And actually hit him, hopefully. There we go. A few more guys. Nothing serious. Nothing really hard. So it turns out we've actually been kidnapped by Durandal, who is that rampant AI that uh, showed up earlier in the game, earlier episodes too. So, um, he's kind of designed a little game for us where we just have to kind of figure out this map. He doesn't give any hints. Uh, we're either going to win or we're going to die, and yeah. Sometimes using elevators and doors as a defensive measure is a good idea. Especially when you're not sure what kind of threats you're about to face coming up. Now comes a really fun bit of uh, kiting, because there's... A lot of guys over here. Let's see how many we can get to aggro. Oh dear. There we go. So, at this point we kind of need to be careful make sure we don't get flanked, because there are a bunch of guys then. Sometimes they do come around. Good. Yep, see there's some guys right behind me. You just have to be careful about that. But usually, you can get them to aggro to each other. Oops. Grenades are plenty. I think there should be a ledge up some around one of these corners that's got a bunch of guys on it. Let's see, if, see if we can find it. Trying to remember which door. This is okay. I think this is the right door that I need to go through. Okay, this is the this is the elevator that I need to get to. So this is that's the name of the map. And if I remember correctly, this is one of the three demo levels that you get with the demo of this game. Which I distinctly remember because it came on this big set of demo CDs that I had as a kid. It's this and the, I think the second marathon was also on there, and I think Dark Forces and a bunch of other good 90s shooters.
But what I like to do for this part is to activate both these switches before I save so I don't have to activate them every time I die, which I... Uh, I remember this being a part where I died quite a bit. And going backwards. There should be some guys down here. Yep. Some ammo. Oops. I think there's also a guy over- yep, right there. Do my dance, do my dance. Another that's just the terminal where Drannel is just basically laughing at us. Giving absolutely no hints whatsoever. Ah yes, is this room. I remember this now. You have to be careful because sometimes guys come from back that way. And there are two guys in that kind of that opening to the left. There are a couple guys down there. They fire right at foot level, and they can be a bit tricky, they're just kind of annoying in the way all the time. Hopefully that's taken care of them. Oh, nope. That was a bit too close for comfort. So, that's a lot of guys that I've just pulled. Okay. Now there's a secret around here, hopefully I'm not about to just kill myself. Okay, I do have enough health, yay. There's a secret room. Here's a terminal that's just got a little bit of story. Uh, Tycho, who is the third AI, science AI, from Marathon on the Marathon, has been reactivated by the Spit for whatever nefarious reasons. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Here's the slow door. And we're back to the beginning. Now I've got to save, because there's a bunch of enemies. Back over here. And try not to die. We got Scott up. And this is a Leela terminal that brings you back to where Leela wants you to go. There's also a, there's a Durandal terminal somewhere that uh, leads you out the same way. But, as far as I know, it leads back to that secret area that we had where we saw the Tycho terminal. So, it's not really worth it unless you need to go back and do that. 
Belus found us, and now we have to go back to our original mission of saving those engineers. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.